It's time we look back at one of the classics of the slasher genre. <laughs> A classic slasher. <laughs> I make myself laugh sometimes. <laughs> I am, of course, talking about Friday the 3rd, um, I mean, Sleepaway Camp. But let's find out exactly what made Sleepaway Camp the cult classic of the video store shelves that it is. And by that, I mean I'm just gonna sit here and make fun of it. Out of curiosity, what the hell production company made the- That was abrupt. Just jumping right into things, are we? Hey, it's a prologue in a horror film. What's the worst that could happen? Good luck, just for a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. And it's gonna be hilarious. John. Cut to eight years later, and that speedboat has never been the same since. It, uh, oh, no, oh, I see. We're we're following the surviving child who is now living with her cousin. Hurry, sweeties! We don't want to be late for the boss. Goodness, no. Well, that wouldn't do at all. The hell was that? Any chips? Why, of course! I believe there's a whole bag! How in the fuck did all of these takes end with the director saying, CUT! PERFECT! Meanwhile, Freddy Krueger is dropping off the kids from the beginning of Elm Street 2, and we get to meet our main camp director. Maybe the other employees are on the level. Hey, look at all that young, fresh chicken. You mean the kids? Even Judy Jailbait made it back this summer. Don't you know girls mature before boys? That's bullshit and you know it. Bitch. Does everyone have a fucking attitude at this camp? Out of all these kids, the most relatable one is Angela, the catatonic one. Looks like we got a real win out here. You ain't kidding. How about if you and me take a walk into the kitchen, see if we can find you something you like. That sound okay? And by that, I mean I'm gonna put you in the capable hands of the pedophile chef. I think I got something you're gonna like real good. Huh? Oh, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. I was just trying to stick my penis in her mouth. Nothing more. I don't think anyone's gonna shed a tear if this character is bumped off. Hey, what the, what the hell are you doing? Ah! Who wants to go skinny today with 15 guys and only 5 girls? But at least take along Angela for good measure. Listen, Angela, what's say, uh, me and you go for a little walk somewhere? What do we talk about tonight, huh? And when hitting on her doesn't work, just insult her. What's the matter? Can't you talk? I told you she was playing with half a deck. After all that trouble, though, still no takers for the evening sausage fest? Why don't you start with Ada? The hell with you, then! One kid managed to score, though, until he dumped her in the lake that is probably mostly splooge now. You bastard! I hate you! Unfortunately, he's interrupted by the mermaid from Gums, only this time he's doing the blowing. How is it that it's summer camp, and it's the early 80s, and with all those young, horny bodies, the only thing to end up inside someone was a fucking snake? <laughs> These kids seem to be doing pretty well, given that two people have suddenly died. In fact, Ball here even has a shot with Angela. You want to go to the movie in the rec hall tonight? If you're lucky, when you're making out later, maybe she'll have a flashback to her two dads boning. <laughs> Come on, boys! These shorts aren't going to get any wetter! <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to go look at this nudie magazine. Okay, I added that in. <laughs> and I also added this. Not the beast! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! I personally am much more intrigued by the preteen love triangle. You're a real scumbag, Judy, you know that? Fuck you, Ricky. But you know, I'm sure he's sorry. Say. Oh, oh right, right. She's 15. <laughs> oh, what's in my. You afraid? 
Well, hey, at least the kids get what's coming to them. Friday the 13th got its action over with before the kids even showed up. This one puts the kids in the movie, then fucking kills them. Hell, just beat the living shit out of this kid while you're at it. It's sleepaway camp. When we're not killing children, we're beating them to a bloody fucking pulp. Or secretly hoping that they're over 18. Chicken shit. Oof, god damn it. My pussy will get pounded, even if it's by a damn curling iron. <laughs> At least someone in this movie is finally gonna get nailed. What about our clothes? Take them off. It's Angela! Angela! Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, do we really need her back in this movie? I don't care if this is a flashback. What could it possibly reveal? Angela's the killer, movie's over, and that's the end of that. Angela. Such a lovely name. I know you're going to like that name. Won't you, Peter? Boy. That's a dick. Not every slasher film has a twist ending so memorable that it makes the movie spawn off quote unquote sequels, short films with side characters, and references on sketch comedy shows. Angela's the killer, and she was really a boy! Oh my god! Somebody remembered this movie and wrote a comedy sketch about it! 